Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Samuel Ethan Udo. Welcome you to Edison Online Academy. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create ellipse using the ellipse draw tool. So without please, I would like you to subscribe to this channel, like our video, drop a comment. So without wasting time, let's quickly go back to where we need to today. Okay. So let me quickly uh, go directly to the software. So um over here right now. Um my unit is set to I've already set my unit to millimeter and um, my limit I'm using a zero comma zero one fifty comma hundred and this is rectangle is just one fifty five hundred so I'm gonna quickly and then draw an ellipse draw the ellipse we'll be making use of today so looking at our, at our draw tools here these are our draw tools on the left hand side these are the draw tools also we have them here display here so moving down if i move down i have ellipse this is ellipse i click on ellipse now so it tells me to specify i want to draw an ellipse an ellipse has a major axis and a minor axis the major axis is the longer side while the minor axis is the shorter side so i want to draw an ellipse in which the major axis is 50 while the minor axis is length 30. so the first thing you do is that you click on ellipse i go i click on ellipse now it tells me specify axis endpoint of ellipse so axis endpoint of ellipse so i click here it says to specify the other endpoints my major axis the longer side my, which is in this case is going to be my horizontal axis is the length is 50. so i move towards the right i type 50 on my keyboard i press enter and the, the ellipse is beginning to come good so on the command window it tells me to specify distance to other axis. Now, the other axis, the length of the other axis, the minor axis is 30. But if I type in 30 right now, it's not going to draw the ellipse properly. Why? Because right now, the cursor is displayed at the center of the ellipse, not at the end. It's displayed at the center. Now, from the center now, to the end of the major axis. Axis to axis is 30. Center to axis is going to be 15. That is half of 30. So instead of typing 30, I'm going to type in 15. So I type in 15. I press enter. And the ellipse is drawn. This ellipse, this is the major axis. And this is the minor axis the longer side is the major axis the shorter side is the minor axis the length of this this is less confirm what is actually 50. so i'm going to just measure 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 to i click on distance come here click come here Click. Okay, it's written 
is writing 60. That means I actually typed in 60, not 50. I mistakenly typed in 60. So this is 60. So let me measure the other side. The minor axis, the vertical side. This to this. That one is 30, actually 30. Okay. So let me do it all over again. Let me repeat it. So just for emphasis, I'm going to repeat it once more. So this time around, I'm actually going to make it a length 50. So you, this is an, at this end point, this is at this end point, this is at this end point, this is at this end point. This is the major axis, the longer side. This is the minor axis, the shorter side. So what do you do? Let me draw it outside. So you click on ellipse. And on the command line, it tells you specify at this end point of ellipse. So we want to draw the major axis along the horizontal direction. I click from the left hand side. It tells me to specify other end points. I move towards the right hand side. My distance is going to be 50. So I type in 50 on my keyboard. I press enter. Okay, it says I should specify distance to other axes. This is the other axis. I move towards that direction. But now I can't type in 30. Why? Because the cursor originates from the center of the current position not from the axis endpoint, it's from the center. So I have to type in half of 30, which is 15. So I type in 15, I press enter, and the ellipse is drawn. Okay, the ellipse is drawn. Okay. So I'm gonna draw another example. How about in a scenario whereby I wanted the major axis to be vertical and the minor axis to be horizontal. It's still the same procedure I'm going to use. So that means this side will be 30, 30 while this side will be 50. Okay. All I need to do, what do I do? I just go ahead and I click on ellipse. It says I should specify at this end point. I can start from this side, I can start from this side, but let me start from the vertical direction. So this is my at this end point. I move down. This is going to be 50. So I type in 50 on my keyboard. I press enter. It says I should specify other distance to other axes. The distance to other axis, the other axis, total distance is 30. But from where the cursor is currently at the center, the distance from the center to the axis endpoint is actually 15. That is half of 30. So I type in 15 and I press enter and the ellipse is drawn. So I hope um, it's actually understood. I hope it's clear. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section and I'm going to respond to them. Also, if you want to chat me up directly on WhatsApp, you are free. You can chat me up on plus 234-8038-2951-85. Please, uh, I would like you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, drop your channel, and I'll be waiting eager for you to come for the next lesson. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Bye.